hi guys welcome to gt zone trading channel today we'll be doing a review of the crash and boom spike detector it has boom and crash spike detector and we will be doing a back testing of it to see if it, what it claims to be that is exactly what it is all right so we'll be doing this review today together and um well, let's do the review on both crash 500 and uh, bomb 500 it, it the result will be the same for crash 1000 and bomb 1000 so that i will not waste your time you can do it yourself after i show you how to do it how to back test with the indicator right so uh, let me just impute the indicator uh out of the chart so that you can see how it looks so this is a spark detector double click on it and then uh you all right we just leave in default settings like this i'll click ok so according to this uh, indicator if the red arrow appears the market is supposed to drop down you understand so you see that the according to what we have seen here when the red arrow appears the market is expected to drop down so we're about to confirm if that is actually what happens all right on the crash 500 and on the boom 500 all right so let's get into it so what you just do is press ctrl arrow on your keyboard come or command arrow if you're using the map or you can just come here to view and then you go to strategy tester that's the same thing here ctrl arrow so it brings out the um strategy tester for you okay so right now we'll be selecting the indicator We'll click on here at this place and we'll look for the indicator that is the spike detector all right so the asset we are looking at is crash 500 so we'll leave it like this then we're looking at the one minute right so we set it to be one minute and then um okay before i choose the period so that will not waste so much of your time let me uh, look at an area of the chart that has a lot of spark so let me go to the h1 so this is h1 time frame so uh, I'm looking at the area of the shadow that has a lot of spikes so that we can do a honest review. All right, I think this area uh, from 20th of October has a lot of spikes, a lot of drops. So we're going to set this area till around 1st of November. Okay. All right, so let's just do that to me. So let's come to sorry, test tested again, control R and then yeah, to open it up. So we're going to set the period to be uh, 20th of October. All right, so let's end it at November first, first of November. Okay, so then the modeling letting me open prices only, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so once you've set like this, you come to this um, right hand side at the bottom. It's showing start. Then you click on start. All right, so the strategy tester will load. All right, so I believe you can see the strategy tester. So it has loaded. So all right, so now um, we are going to just set the colors of the chart so that you can see it clearly all right so i'm going to be setting the chart a color properties okay so okay all right so this is the strategy tester okay so let's actually see if um this spike detector works all right uh, let me reduce the speed over here let me make it slow so i can see all right so let me play Let's play this play okay so the market is going up then this green arrow appears here you see the arrow disappears it repents right let's keep watching the red arrow keeps changing that has appeared the red arrow appeared before and then uh it was changing to the next kept changing then there's a drop before the arrow appears you understand so a drop comes before the arrow appears let me slow it down a bit so you can see okay let me slow it down okay you can see the arrow now the arrow has appeared but you see the arrow changing you see just hold on let's look at it so if this arrow will continue to do that way or a point will come where is after the drop you see the arrow you see you can pause this video and go back and you try to see that the arrow only appears after the drop has taken place all right so that means the arrow will keep changing keep changing position until the 
um, the crash 500 drops all right so let's end this back testing and we now begin to test boom 500 and see what happens all right so let's look at fi boom 500 let's come in i will change this place to uh, from this level now we'll go to boom 500 all right so double click it so which period are we going to set let me go to the charts let me and it's already tester about 500 let's look at the h1 and look for areas in it okay these are this this area has a lot of spikes okay this area so let's just begin from 7th of november on to 16th of november okay so control arrow so you have the 7th of november yes for it 7th of yeah 7th of november to uh, let's use uh 16th of november all right so we're going to click on start all right so this is the boom 500 chart so let me just um set it to the white background chart so that you can see i will set it to be none and yeah all right so the idea is that when the blue arrow appears there's going to be a spike okay just as you'll be seen here so now let's look at it if that's how it happens i click on play okay so let's wait okay the blue arrow has appeared you can see the blue arrow it is shifting it is shifting so the first thing to know is that it repaints all right that disappeared and then it appeared again now there's a spike but a very small one the arrow has not appeared yet market is still going down okay the arrow has appeared again but still no spike that disappeared all right so you will have lost money a lot of times here let's keep observing another arrow has appeared and then the spike before the arrow appears all right so you would have lost up to like 15 times along this move downward before this spike occurred now you can see that the arrow now begins to appear after the spike has already taken place observe observe that the arrow appears after the spike had already taken place so just observe 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 so this is the boomer crash spike detector you'll be hearing about you can see there's a spike and then the arrow appears is it now just hold on another spike I was watching it then the arrow appears after the spike so if you want to get this part you can rewind it to confirm that what I just said is true so um, I would like to say if you want to use a span detector to catch the boom 500 uh, or the crash 500 spikes and drops respectively you don't actually need this indicator I have done a video on how to catch the spikes and the drop on this channel go back i will also link the video in the description of this video and you'll see how you can catch the spikes and the drops very very easily and i'll show that to you briefly in the chat now that's in a five minutes um, chat all right so this is the five minute chat for the crash 500 and um, initially i'd already explained to you how you can catch the drops uh, very effectively i said number one you must know the trend of the market the direction of the market and then you must spot um, a shift in market structure at the top so i mentioned okay now let's look at this the market has been trending up from here and let's take here for example so it has been trending up i don't have an arrow we used to draw this okay let me just use this all right you can see that the market has been going up like this from here all right as we're going up this is structure of an uptrend right this is an uptrend all right so let me clear the drawing sorry let me clear the drawing so that i can move my shot all right so then is we going up 
and then you go to this level here when you go to this level let me draw it for you again the market was moving up like this like this okay then there's a drop now i told you that this is a shift in market structure this area here is a shift in market structure this is something i have talked over and over in this channel if you have not watched the videos in this channel please go back to them so the expectation is that when the market return back it's going to get back to this block here you understand me you're going to get back to this block here this is where you sell for so let me clear the drawing So the expectation is that the market is going to drop down to you're going to drop from this level downwards you understand this is where you cash your drops after a shift in market structure like this the market had been going up in this manner right that be going up that's been going up the market had been going up in this manner i'll be going up in this manner and then you see drop all the way so it broke the structure here this is where you look for your 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 drop on the five minutes if you do this on any time frame whether it's on the one hour and the five minutes and the 15 minutes any time frame you spot the shift in market structure you can always catch the drops but this also work for a buy because it works on any time frame you can use it for a buy and for any other asset apart from the crash 500 or the boom 500 okay so that's what i used to trade forex that's what i used to trade any asset at all the, whether it is nasdaq whether it is um Gemini 40 Gemini 30 because i trade all of those as long as there's a shift in market structure the market will always return back it will always return back to the shift in market structure do you understand so this is something you must learn and if you want to help yourself go back to the videos in this channel you will see how i explained the the spread detector strategy okay so and then um even the shift market structure which are the recent videos uh before these ones okay i believe that uh, with this i've been able to convince you that you don't need an indicator to catch the spikes or the drops you understand me all right till we meet again happy trading